Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the mission at Santa Cruz. I'm going to take two fingers at the bottom and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way over from left to right. I come back on the left hand side and I'm going to put three fingers from the top underneath, put a dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, go back to the dot, straight diagonal down on the right. I come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line down. Then bring that wavy, wavy line back up to the dot. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Slightly wavy line down. Bring it around. Slightly wavy line up back to the dot. I come inside on the left and I draw a straight line down straight line over, straight line up, connect. Right underneath that I'm going to draw straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Skinny rectangle. Right in the center of this space I draw a square. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw a straight line all the way down on the left and a straight line down all the way on the right. I come back to the left and I draw another straight line down all the way on the left, straight line down all the way on the right. I come back inside on the left and I draw one straight line, two straight lines across, jump over on the right, one straight line, one straight line across. I come back on the inside on the left and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect on the left, and a little straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect on the right. Come back, back to the left and draw one, two straight lines going down. Come to the right, one, two straight lines going down. Come back to the left and we're going to draw another skinny rectangle. Now see how my lines are floating there? All I have to do is bring them down and connect. I come back to the left again and I draw one, two straight lines on the left, come on the right, one, two straight lines on the right. Come back to the left, draw a skinny rectangle on the left, skinny rectangle on the right, Come back to the left, draw me one, two straight lines connect on the left, one, two straight lines connect on the right. Come back to the center and we're going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect. Inside I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines. I'm going to come up to this middle space and I'm going to draw a little straight line across straight line down, straight line out, down, in, down. On the right, now come on the left, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, straight line down, connect. Starting on the left hand side right at that line, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, keep going to the edge of the paper. Come back down, let's do another row of curved lines, curved lines, keep going to the edge of the paper. And let's draw one more curved line, curved line, curved line to the edge of the paper. Now I just draw little straight lines going across in that space. And right about here I'm going to draw another square. Okay. Now I come over on the right hand side. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw a straight line until it connects. And I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down and then a big straight line all the way down. I come back up here to the top. 
and I'm going to draw a little straight line across and now I'm going to draw a straight line going towards the right. From that point I draw another straight line down. I'm going to come back up and draw another little straight line across, straight line down, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw one straight line, another straight line diagonal going down, meeting up with that straight line, straight line going across, but I don't want to go to the edge, I'm going to stop it right about there. Now I come down to about this section and I draw a straight line diagonal, one, two, and then a straight line across, one, two. Inside the middle space I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line, connect. At the top draw a straight line and a triangle. Now I come up to this section and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line. And on this section I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line. But on this one I draw a straight line across and another triangle. I come all the way up to the top and I'm going to draw a little straight line, straight diagonal like I did before. And right about here I'm going to draw a big curve line over and fill it in with little curved lines all the way across, however many you can fit, and at the very top, straight line, straight line. I come way over here on the right hand side and I'm going to draw one skinny rectangle and another skinny rectangle and a straight line, straight line in between and at the top I'm just going to put a little round circle, a little round circle. Starting right about here I'm just going to put some wavy lines. This is my vegetation. They're overlaps just to fill in some of my spots with trees. So these are all kind of wibble wobble lines. Okay. I come all the way down here at the bottom and I draw a straight line across, line it up, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, straight line across. You can just leave that floating. Okay, I think that's it. If you can squeeze in a little planter over here, but it doesn't look like I can, so I will show it to you what it looks like on my finished one, finished mission. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this mission is pretty simple because it's pretty much white. So the only parts of color that you do have is like the dome, so I'm using a reddish brown. This is the tile roof. I'm using another reddish brown and then this section over here, a reddish brown. Just to differentiate all my brown colors. Then I come in with a darker brown and I'm going to use my door and my windows up here and my signposts over here on the right. Uh, the signposts I'm going to give it a tan color in between and I'm going to use a lighter color for my cross and all this section for my walkway. Just to again break up the whiteness of everything. If you have room, right here is where a planter would go, but I didn't have room. I didn't want to squish it for all of you, so I'll show it to you on the finished project. Um, I used a light green on my vegetation, and then I came back in with my dark green to break up that color. I did my little green bells, and now I'm ready for my sky. I did my sky a blue-blue dark blue all the way around and this tower is open so these little window parts with your bells you can fill these in with a little touch of blue also and down at the very bottom bottom is dark green and again you can blend that into your walkway all the way across Okay, let's see what it looks like. I think I did it all. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. 
Okay, here's Mission Santa Cruz all colored in. On this drawing, I did have room for my little pot right here. There should have been another one here. Oh well, still looks good. Okay, bye-bye.